Welcome to Corbis Trini. In this lecture, we're going to look into allow for side nav to collapse horizontally but leaving an icon nav visible. That is, using an angular material, uh, side nav with half side open or half side close. So, when you click on the menu button, your nav should close but it should leave for an icon to be visible. So, ideally, which is half closed or half open. And while doing it, we should also manage to uh, expand the content when your uh, menu when your navigation side now uh, collapses okay so let's get started all right we opened up our application in the source code visual studio code so the the mat icon which is uh, this icon that you see here we're gonna change the click event to something else i call it as on tool bar menu toggle so i'm gonna call this event okay in my app component ts i'm gonna do this on toolbar hang on a second i'm just gonna copy that and reuse the name here okay so in the on toolbar i'm gonna console that first so we're gonna make sure if our event is actually getting fired or not so on toolbar Toggled. That's right. And we need some sort of a state to manage if our menu is open or not. For that, I'm gonna call it this as is menu open. So is menu open is true by default. Okay, so when you load your application, we all know that our side nav is open by default. Okay. I'm gonna give that as this dot is menu open so we know what we, we can monitor what sort of a state that's in okay so when you click on this it shows the state as true okay so we haven't done anything yet we're gonna toggle that so not this dot is menu okay so once you do that we know or we can toggle our menu so the state of our menu is getting changed once you click once you toggle the menu my menu icon in the toolbar okay let's go one step further and apply this state to our side now to do that we need to apply a class to our side now um, uh, so that we we should tell the side now on what sort of a width we need to open up okay uh, ideally this is a little trick and hack thing is the your side now even though it is half closed it is still in an open state okay so we need to we, we are just bypassing that state and making use of the is menu uh, as a separate state okay it sounds a little confusing but you'll be all right once you go further now thing is now i'm gonna have two classes okay so i'm gonna just go go to our css and apply the two classes so it'll be a bit easier to follow now okay so i'm gonna have this will be under our side now right so side now dot menu because they all reside in the same element so i'm i'm just using i'm selecting the side now and i'm gonna i'm selecting a side now with a applying a style for the menu open menu close state first okay so the menu when I when I click on the when I toggle, if I want the menu to be closed, it should be set to a width of 70 pixels. Uh, this is purely based on your application um, criteria that you might uh, you you may have. Okay, but I'm just using 70 pixel for now. It's not a hard and fast rule over here. You can use any number of uh, any numeric value here, like 100 pixel or whatever the design says um, in your application. Okay, so if your design if your if your icons are too large too big you might need to alter the the pixels ratio over here and by default my application uh, my side now uh, opens up at a 240 pixels of width so i'm gonna have a menu close with a width of 70 and menu open with a width of 240 okay so i'm gonna apply that into my into my material side now something like this using a class binding so class property binding so class dot menu when it is uh, i need to 
apply this menu open when you have is menu open simple as that okay and same way I'm gonna have menu close and when the menu is not open okay so pay close attention here when you click on it your side now collapses but your side now doesn't close it just applies the CSS okay so when you toggle it it just collapses to a certain width and then it opens up now when you collapse it you you might have noticed the content just stays there so we need to fix that one as well but before that I want to pay close attention over here when you look at the I'm gonna just drag this up when you look at the side now material side now element over here in the class you will see menu close now just watch that space alone menu open so we are just toggling menu close and menu open when you when you start to trigger a click event from the menu icon okay so that bit is done now the next bit is getting the you might you might be thinking you might be thinking we haven't done anything yet for this these icons uh, don't worry so we will be just fixing that up in a bit in our main content we need some sort of a state to monitor the the margin of this so um, I'm gonna refresh this and see okay so go to the inspect element I'm gonna show you what's happening in the main side nav content in the main side nav content the margin le left is applied okay so actually when I open up the console it clears out and then aligns automatically but ideally when you do this it won't happen okay so only when I open up the content when only when I open up the inspect element it happens like this but we need to fix that in our code so I'm just gonna I'm just showing you where this is happening so the margin left is applied when your side now collapses or expands okay so we need to fix that up in the side now container in angular we have this directive called ng style so we're gonna make use of that directive ng style and then we also going to apply an expression here so we're going to apply it as margin left dot in pixels so it can be anything em or rem or whichever pixels whichever units of measurement would you like to use okay so for now I'm just to for the simplicity of purpose I'm just using pixels and content margin so this value okay this value I'm gonna manipulate this value in my app component ts so to do that I'm gonna create a field in my class called content margin so it can be anything it can be anything you can come up with any names you want just for the sake of uh, this tutorial I'm keeping it as simple as that but ideally this this has to be done in a more, more modular and more default settings kind of a, you need to create an object and make a default values so that it will be easy for you to change those values in the near future if your application um, mutates okay so all is done now we have the default content margin as a 240 pixels I think I applied it in a wrong place yes I applied it for a Synap container which I shouldn't be doing that um, it should be in the side nav content which is over here right now 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 yes we need to manipulate we need to switch the the settings switch, switch the margin left or content margin okay so if this menu is false which means if the menu if the side nav is um, side nav is collapsed I need to tell the content margin to be at 70 and if the menu is open I need to tell the content margin is at 240 okay now see we fix the content when the side now collapses and expands so that thing is done now the next bit we need to fix is this icons it should be it should it should just align I mean closely aligned to the center it should be it should be flowing it should it should not break the design principle ideally now for that I'm gonna
I'm gonna apply some I'm gonna just go ahead and do some um, thing over here I'm gonna apply it in the console and see if that works first okay so I'm gonna just give margin left and see if that works so roughly around 20 pixels uh, I think it should it's working a bit so I'm just gonna drop down a little like say 15 pixel I guess it's it's working or say some close to 12 pixel looks like it's it works like a charm all right so that's in the mat icon menu item I'm selecting it as side now menu item and mat icon so I need to find that out um, where is it? it's right over here so I'm just go ahead and add the margin left as 12 pixel that we have seen earlier all right so it's working perfectly fine now so this is all about half opening or half closing your site now so thank you for watching this tutorial if you like please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel as it will help me to uh, help me and motivate me to make more such videos 